Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fandom's channel. I'm sitting here once again with David. And last time, David, we got to know yourself pretty well. But today, we want to know a bit more about the company itself. How are you doing? Are you ready to dive in? Sure, absolutely. Nice to be back. Good, good. Glad to have you back. So let's start it off really simple. If we were in an elevator together, we had to go up about 10 floors. Pitch me the company in that time. Okay. Well, uh, Fandom Sports Media, uh, the real core mission that we have is to change the way that people interact with real-time and near-real-time data, specifically as it relates to esports. Uh, the first iteration of what we're launching is our wagering platform, peer-to-peer uh, -peer wagering, where I log on, I challenge uh, the global community or you directly, for example, that you know this will happen in a League of Legends match and that I'll bet you $10. Uh, what we're doing beyond monetizing that core functionality that we've built is we'll be adding additional casino type games, uh, sports books, et cetera, uh, that we can under our current licensing regime. You know, my, my rationale is, is that if you have a gaming license, you might as well offer the full suite of um, games that, you know, people like to wager on. So uh, there'll be a rollout of those shortly thereafter we launch the platform as well. Okay. Um, you know, then we'll begin the traditional marketing uh, that goes along with uh, casino games and you know, esports wagering and so forth. Now, beyond that, and going back to our core mission, you know, we really feel that there's a much larger demographic of esports fans that um, are not wagering or that aren't of an age that they can wager on. So, what, what we really feel is the huge opportunity for us is for us to create the game within the game that ex that appeals to the all ages audiences. So uh, that really ties into our rewards and loyalty uh, program that we're building out. Uh, NFTs, non-fungible tokens are a part of that. So uh, as we continue to develop that on the infrastructure that we've just deployed just a couple of weeks ago, uh, we'll have more news flow on that as well. And then, you know, the monetization strategy for that is really you know, similar to what you can do in any type of traditional mobile game, you know, where you can play for free. And then, you know, at a certain point, you hit a limit as to what you can do in the platform. And then, you know, paywall would drop down. And for a dollar a month, you'll have unlimited uh, predictions that you can make. But so you're gamifying betting on games. Interesting. So that, I would say that's not something you see a lot with versus other competitors, especially when you're talking about bringing in NFTs and stuff. I feel like that's a really unique approach. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, the whole the rationale behind that is is that you know as i'm watching something how can i interact with that content you know besides chatting with you know the community uh, uh, overlaid on top of, of a stream in a traditional chat you know the, we thought well why can't we predict what's going to happen in that chat you know swipe left if this is going to happen swipe right if you think that's going to happen mm -hmm. and as you're doing that you're winning points you're winning status you're winning digital gifts you're winning chances to win NFTs, you're winning NFTs, and uh, it appeals to people uh, because now you're closing the loop on the interaction, right? So mm -hmm. either if I'm watching it on my phone or I'm playing along and watching the stream on a second screen, you know, we're unifying that experience, we're keeping people engaged, creating a stickier audience for the content creators, and we're basically uh, offering our technology as a software, as a service to all of these third-party content creators. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, last but not least, can you tell me just like a basic timeline and when you expect things to roll out? Obviously you can't give any real spoilers away about the company, yeah. but just give me a little teaser. Sure. Sure. So uh, we, we expect to have the wagering platform live by the end of uh, the current Q2. We're in the first weeks of Q2. Uh, I'd say imminent, you know, I, I always say imminent because you know, I have to be a little vague on, on the timeframes uh, yeah. in terms of the NFTs reward systems. Uh, at some point in Q3, we'll be launching that. And the old ages platform, we're shooting for the back half of the year, early Q4 by the end of the year. Uh, so we'll have a more full, robust ecosystem for an all ages and a regulated wagering offering uh, going into 2022. Wonderful. Yep. It sounds like this is going to be an exciting year for you guys. Thanks for coming on and sharing the way. All right. Um, any last words before we go? Stay last tuned. Time. Lots of good stuff happening. And uh, I'm looking forward to keeping you all posted. Perfect. Well, once again, thanks for coming on. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Any questions, send them over to us. We're very happy to answer anything you got. David, take it easy. Take care.